make sure to stop by the website Black Art Tees only on Etsy.com. 100% black and female owned. We proudly create uniquely beautiful natural hair art t-shirts and African inspired products. We don't do cookie cutter. Want the same old, same old? We ain't the one. Want to stand up and stand out while doing it? Let Black Art Tees be your voice to tell the world that you are black and unapologetically. So be bold, be fierce, be you naturally. Be heard without saying a word. Make sure to stop by the website Black Art Tees only on Etsy.com. Details in the description box. Check out the new novel from first-time novelist Zori Maxwell called High Flyers, The Book of Trina, the first book in the High Flyers series. When fate brings together college kid Derek McNair and high school loner Trina Jackson, an unusual friendship and bond forms between them. As the two spend a year together coping with the impending death of Trina's mother, will both realize there's more than meets the eye to one another than they first imagined? A coming of age tale of love, loss, friendship, and the black experience in America. Available for sale now on Amazon and Amazon Kindle. Make sure to check out the book High Flyers, The Book of Trina by author Zori Maxwell. Details in the description box. are releasing new details about the man accused of killing a popular Baton Rouge civil rights activist. 38-year-old Ron Bell was arrested yesterday on a charge of murdering Sadie Roberts Joseph. Now, police say that Bell was her tenant. Her body was found in her car outside a vacant home last week. Errol Barnett is outside the museum that she founded in Baton Rouge. Errol, a lot of people are glad there's been an arrest in this case. What led police to, to Bell? Well, good morning, Gail. Two things, both circumstantial and physical evidence. Police say that Bell owed uh, the woman known as Sadie rent money. The police report shows that he admitted to being in the area where her vehicle was found. But the real breakthrough here, the physical evidence, his DNA found on her body. Hundreds gathered in the Louisiana heat Tuesday at the African American History Museum Sadie Roberts Joseph founded nearly two decades ago. Folks coming together to celebrate her life and a breakthrough in the case. He's been identified. Police Department. Baton Rouge police credited detectives and the community in helping find Robert Joseph's accused killer, a tenant in one of her rental homes. Police say Ron Jermaine Bell suffocated the 75-year-old on Friday, placing her body in the trunk of her own car. We believe that he was behind several months on his rent. We believe around $1,200 was owed. According to the East Baton Rouge District Attorney, Bell was previously arrested, accused of raping an eight-year-old girl in 2004. He pleaded guilty to sexual battery and served seven years in prison. He was not on probation or parole, but was under indefinite supervision as a sex offender. What happens next to this suspect? Well, we still have a lot of work to do. We're going to uh, continue uh, following up on uh, more investigative leads, trying to put the pieces to the puzzle. Roberts Joseph's daughter is encouraging everyone to move past their outrage. What should people do with that anger and that frustration they're feeling right now? For those who were and are angry, live a better life. Give of yourself to your community to make the whole better. Friends and family say the woman known as Miss Sadie will live on through the many people she touched. The mayor said Miss Sadie is a matriarch of the city. She is, not was. She is and always will be.
Now, police are still working to determine a clear motive in all of this, but they do not believe this was a hate crime. And to really underscore the sentiment that we felt here yesterday, Ms. Roberts Joseph's niece told me that her heart breaks and goes out for the suspect's family. Anthony. Errol, thank you. Yeah, that's a, that's the right sentiment. She always will be a matriarch of Baton Rouge. Yeah, and it's hard to hear that she died under those circumstances by somebody. It seems that she was she trying to probably help helping, and yeah. had given a chance to. Yeah. Hey, guys, it's Nicole here back on this Wednesday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there. And welcome back to Nicole's View. So I'm sure by now most of you have... Um, probably already heard the news about this. I did a video on Miss Sadie, um, and you know it's just it's it's awful. So the update here: they found the guy who allegedly killed her. It's sick, and if this is one hundred percent true that this man did this um, simply because he owed her back rent. Um, he should be under the jail, under the jail. Basically, I guess she was renting out, um, a room, an apartment to this man. He supposedly had a record, um, of basically raping a child. I mean, it's horrific. And through it all, this woman was like still trying to help this man. Now, this is the story that we've been told thus far. Um, anything's possible, but this is what we're being told. And you have to be one sick, evil person to do this. To not simply say, you know, let me approach Miss Sadie and let me tell her what's going on and let me try to work something out. I'm sure she would have been understanding. If you owed twelve hundred dollars and back rent at that point um you could have worked something out with her there is no earthly excuse for what this man did unless it's some crazy other mess going on that we just don't know about at the moment if this is legit the, the truth of why he did this yeah, he needs to be under the jail. I'm sorry. He needs to be under it. Um, and you saw that news clip. Sorry you had to sit through Gail King. I know, but I wanted <laughs> the actual clip itself. Um, you know, it's just very sad to see something like this go down. Um, and this is from CBSnews.com. And it says, grim details emerge about man accused of killing baton rouge civil rights activists uh, police in louisiana are releasing new details about the man accused of killing a popular baton rouge civil rights activist ron bell 38 was arrested tuesday on a charge of murdering sadie roberts joseph according to police bell was her tenant and owed her about 1200 in rent uh, both circum circumstantial uh, and physical evidence led to his arrest after her body was found in the trunk of her car outside a vacant home last week. According to the arrest report, Bell admitted to being in the area where her body, or excuse me, where her car was abandoned, and most importantly, his DNA was found on her body. Hundreds gathered in the Louisiana heat Tuesday at the African American History Museum, Sadie Roberts Joseph founded nearly two decades ago. Baton Rouge police, dis uh, excuse me, credited both the community and detectives in helping find Roberts Joseph's accused killer. Police say Bell suffocated the 75 year old on Friday and then placed her body in the trunk of her own car. According to the East Baton Rouge District Attorney, Bell was previously arrested after being accused of raping an eight-year-old girl in 2004. He pleaded guilty to sexual battery and served seven years in prison. He was not on probation or parole, but was under indefinite supervision as a sex offender. 
Well, we still have a lot of work to do, said Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul. Uh, we're going to continue trying to follow up on more investigative leads, trying to put the pieces of the puzzle. Um, Robert Joseph's daughter, Angela uh, Macon is encouraging everyone to move past their outrage. For those who are angry and are angry, live a better life. Give yourself to your community to make the whole world better, she said. Uh, basically what you know was said in the news clip, uh, friends and family say Robert Joseph's memory will live on through the many people she touched. Uh, police are still working to confirm a clear motive, but they do believe Robert Joseph's death was... Um, they do not believe, excuse me, um, Robert Joseph's death was a hate crime. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so that is the end of that. Um, yeah, what, what more can be said? It's just, this is awful. And I was hoping, I was hoping, I was hoping, I was like, man, I hope this is not one of our quote unquote folks that did this. I, I had a sick feeling that this was the possibility um but you just never know anything's possible so um you know thus far this is what they're telling us they're telling us that this man did this absolutely diabolical evil evil of all the things you could have done all the many options you had and you thought let me just go ahead and kill this woman. Like, how do you go from, oh my God, I'm behind on my rent, what am I going to do, to killing the owner? Okay, I I don't understand that. And I've heard stories like this before. And you're just like, really? All this help out here, all this you know, yes, I know it's probably a little bit more difficult with him being a sex offender, but still and yet, you know, he was released from prison. I'm sure he could have gotten some type of something. You know, it, it, it's just, uh, it's just beyond words. Evil. I don't know. Um once they investigate this and see where it goes i don't know the laws in louisiana but i know here in texas they do have the death penalty um i bet if this happened here oh that that would have been capital murder you know i i don't know uh i'll have to keep you know on top of the story to see what they end up charging him with um but you know um, okay, so I mean, they charged him with murder, but you know, if that was here, I think it would have been capital murder simply because of, you know, it was premeditated and the, you know, the weight she carried in that community, so vital, so important, so, you know, um, you know, just, just beautiful. And to see someone like that just taking out over $1,200 and back rent, if this is the story they're telling us, it's evil. It's absolutely evil. And he has to uh, pay the price for it. When we have folks like that within our own community doing this crap, oh yes, you need to be dealt with. You need to be dealt with. Now, like I said, um, they're still going to continue to investigate to see if there's anything else. This is what they're telling us. Um, but, you know, regardless of what the outcome may be in how they charge him, how the story um, just develops over time, he decided to participate in taking down an elder in a vicious, evil inhumane way so you know he's still uh just below just below um below the dirt to me i mean absolutely evil hurting kids and hurting elderly people two groups of people that it, it, it 
makes me angry. It makes me absolutely angry. Because those two groups are the most, um, you know, easily to be hurt, vulnerable, you know, people we have. And for folks to do this, to hurt them and harm them and not think twice about it, you know, yeah, you deserve the worst of the worst. Absolutely. 100%. So guys, please let me know what you think about this. And it's something I will definitely keep an eye on over time to see how this uh, transpires. Anyway, guys, please let me know what you think. Rest in peace to Miss Sadie uh, Roberts Joseph. Uh, guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Nicole's View is sponsored by Make sure to check out Brother Hank's three YouTube channels. The first, IBMOR One Man Army Against Racism, channel for Intel Ones. Intel from Black or New Copper Race Forms. And Black or Bright and Latino and All Positive People's Safety Zone. Now, Brother Hank is bringing you the latest news, reviews, commentaries, and so much more on all three of his YouTube channels. So make sure to stop by, show your support, like, comment, and subscribe. Details to his three channels will be in the description box. Check out the book Granddaddy by author Cavis Adams. Granddaddy is a close-up view into the distant past and back again, a stream of generational consciousness that slows to show the story of a lone black family in white America, from the fiery era of sharecropping in the South to the deathly cold industry of the modern North. The reader will migrate in heart and mind along the span of three generations, finding ourselves finally close to how we came to be today. As lived by a lone family torn between time and place, this book tells the closer story of a greater reality, that of the great black migrations from a racially segregated South up to the equally fragmented Northern states and what was lost by a people along the way. Make sure to check out the book, Granddad. Details in the description box. Hey guys, it's Nicole here and I thank you for your viewership. Now, do you have a business of some sort? Do you have a clothing line, a shoe line, hairline, books, music, movies? Heck, your own YouTube channel you want to promote? Well, let me know. Email me at NicoleLewisForChange at gmail.com where I offer a low monthly fee for you to run your ad on my pre-recorded videos. Also, do you just love what I do and want to show your support? Well, support me on Patreon, PayPal, Venmo, Google Pay, Cash App, basically any and everywhere. So show your support for the new black media and all of our endeavors. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next video.